Welcome everyone, it's here. Uh, for previous viewers that watched a video I had uploaded in the past, an update on that, uh, I'm back from my trip. It went well, it was a success, she said yes, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, this video is a user requested uh, explanation on what happened to veteran ranks and how the champion point system works and what the max level is now and all of that. So, to quickly summarize the veteran rank change, all right. So this piece of equipment I had gained whenever I was veteran rank 16. Um, the change now is that for every 10 champion points up to 160, a veteran rank, say veteran rank 1, would be equal to champion rank 10. So veteran rank 16 is now champion uh, 160, as you can see here. So the level 50 there, right next to the armor value, means that I have to be, my character has to be level 50 to equip it. But now, Previously, you had to level every single one of your characters from level 1 to level veteran rank 16. Now you only have to get them to level 50. As soon as you get an alternate character to level 50 and you already have champion points from a previous veteran rank character, that new level 50 character immediately has access to all of your champion points. You no longer have to go from uh, 1 to 50 and then veteran rank 1 to 16 or champion point 10 to 160, etc. It is now level 50 and then immediately you get your champion points so if I were to get a new character up to level 50 their champion point rank would immediately be 433 now the max level that you will see characters right now is champion rank 501 that means that past champion rank 501 they will still gain champion points but they cannot put them in anything as you can see in the bottom right corner it says earned uh, max of 167. So 167 times 3 is 501, but I can still gain them after that. I haven't hit that wall yet, unfortunately. But um, as soon as I do, I will still have them stored up, just unable to use. It'll say available, can't do it. But they do that now to balance out people that have thousands of champion points from PC. And um, in future updates, they will, they, well, they said they're going to raise the champion point cap slowly so everyone can kind of progress at the same rate and kind of keep it fair. So what you're going to see out there now is 501s is going to be the, the uber level. But all you really have to worry about is getting to champion rank 160. 160 will give you access to the maximum, well, current maximum level of equipment. So nothing is higher than 160. So everything will scale kind of nicely in PvP if you are not uh, in your champion ranks yet. Or if you're still below 160, you will still be scaled to champion rank 150, which is which is technically equal to veteran rank 15, so nothing really changed there, they just changed the, the way it sounds. So, oh yeah, a real important part about champion points for people who have not gathered any yet is that it takes a lot of experience compared to a level to get a champion point. Well, when you're starting out, say, as soon as you hit level 50 on your first character, you don't have any champion points, you will be given 10. That is equal to veteran rank 1. 10 free champion points, you can use them as you wish. But that first few, I say hundred level or few hundred champion points, you will get them pretty quickly because the amount of experience you need is going to be really low. Like right now, it takes me about four hundred thousand, which isn't that much when I'm enlightened. So that's the next part I want to get to is enlightenment. Uh, you get enlightenment, I believe, every twenty-four hours. So I used mine yesterday, and today I have more. I get eight hundred thousand ex experience points at an accelerated rate. So that enlightenment will be used up as soon as I pass that eight hundred thousand. But I will get some more the next day. However, if I were to play on an alternate character for like the next five days or so, um, I believe it stacks up to a maximum of five days. So every 24 hours, you're going to get 800,000 enlightenment. So for that's a total of 4 million the next time you come back, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad they have it set up that way. So you're not missing out if you uh, haven't played in a couple of days, you still have a chance to catch up. Um, another thing, like I said, your champion points are going to get really, really, really slow eventually. Like mine take forever when I'm not on enlightenment, so I kind of piddle around until I have some back. So that's a quick explanation of champion points and how they work. So to summarize real quick, oh, I better add this. You get champion points one at a time. You get a warrior point, and then a thief point, and then a mage point. All in that order. So it's warrior, thief, mage, warrior, thief, mage, warrior, thief, mage. And you can use them however you wish. But a real important thing is, each point you do put into something increases it by, um, I don't know how to say this, lower increments. So first point you're going to put into something uh, increases it by 1%, and then it's going to be like 0.8%, and then lower, lower, lower until 
Uh, for example, over here, my next point into uh, this only brings it up 0.2 percent. So you're gonna have to like think about what you're gonna do in the future, and each champion or each total amount of points you put into something will give you a bonus. So since I have more than 10, well, more than 30 points put in here, I get access to both of these bonuses in this one tree, but not the one for having 75 points in here. So if I go to the next one, since I have 75 points in this individual tree, out of one of the four perks you can have, you gain these passive skills. I gain the rank 10, 30, and 75 all at the same time. I don't have to select them or put champion points into them. It's all automatic. So, back to my quick summary. 160 is your goal. After that, you're just going to keep getting champion points, which is going to passively power up your character uh, up to 501, which will give you supposedly equal... Um, equal playing field with your opponents but what really matters is gear so once you get to 160 you have access to the maximum level of gear uh, you can play around with what you want right now I'm in the process of putting these two sets together so I just I don't have any skill points in anyway except it's all in crafting so my character right now is level 50 champion rank 433 so I hope that helps you guys out and if you have any more uh, suggestions just hit me with them and I'll be glad to help you guys out so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.